Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about how to tell if my ex is over me. So sometimes um, it can be difficult to know if your ex is over you, especially if you're not over them yet. Because what I found is when you um, still are still in love with your ex and you want things to work out with them, or it could even be with like a crush, like if you are desperately hoping that your crush feels the same way about you and you're unsure, sometimes you can read into really small things and you make those small things a lot. And then you think, oh, well maybe they aren't over me. Like for example, if you still have to see your ex quite often, let's say you've got kids or you work together and you have to see them a lot, sometimes you can read into things. Um, So sometimes it can be tricky to get over an ex and to figure out if they still care about you because you're still hoping that things will work out and you're still clinging on to little signs that they may still have some feelings for you. So I'm gonna go through some things that will give you a more clearer picture to tell if your ex is actually over you yet. So one of those things is you just never hear from them. So you don't get a phone call from them, you don't get any messages from them. And if you do get messages from them, it's about about finalizing the relationship. It's about the divorce papers, or it's a, it's a question about that kind of thing, or it's a question about um, the kids, if you've got kids, and they're not inquiring about you. Or it could be something about, oh, I want, can I, when can I come and pick up my stuff? Or when can you come and collect this if, it, if you've moved out of their house, right? So if it's about collecting things, um, and about me making sure that everything's finished and tidied up and they're not inquiring about you, then it's very likely that your ex is over you if, they're, if, they're, if they've decided to do that, right? If they're not talking to you or if when they do talk to you, it's very business-like, very professional-like, right? There's no... Because basically the way that you tell, one of the ways that you can tell if your ex wants you back is if they message you and they reach out to you and they're solely inquiring about you. They're saying things like, hey, how are you? What have you been up to these these days? Or you can tell it's an excuse that they're using to talk to you. So for example, um, they bring up something that happened in the past, like, oh, do you remember when we did this? Uh, Do you have the postcode for that? Or if it's something that they could easily Google themselves or they could easily find out themselves, like they may ask you like, oh, what was the name of that actor in that movie? These are things that they could easily Google and find out themselves, right? So they're using it as an excuse to talk to you. And again, if they're saying, hey, how are you? What have you been up to these days? And it's solely about that. And it's not followed by things like, when can I come and pick up my stuff? When can you pick pick up Jimmy from football practice? You know, things like that then that kind of thing is not worth your time. But if it is stuff that is solely inquiring about you or just things that seem like an excuse to talk to you, then it's likely that they want you back and they are still interested. But if they're not talking to you and if when, or, and if when they do talk to you, it's just about you know very business-like things, then they're not coming back and they probably are over you, right? They're not interested. So um, another way to tell if your ex is over you is if they've moved on with someone new. Like if they are in a relationship or they're now married, you know, even though I guess you could say sometimes it depends on how fast they got into that relationship. So for example, if they went from, and and of course how much time has gone by, because they may have only just, you you guys may have just broken up last week and they're now with someone new, right? So that that doesn't really mean too much because not much time has gone by. But if it's been like six months or it's been a few years or a year and they're in a new relationship or they're getting married, then it's very likely that they have moved on with their life, especially if they are, you are also not hearing from them either, okay? So another thing that will show you if your ex is over you is if a lot of time has gone by and you haven't really heard anything, they haven't made any effort to reconcile with you. So let's say like it's been more than six months, um, then yeah, it's very likely that they're probably over it by now or they are getting better and starting to get over it now, right? If it's been years, then they probably definitely are over it, and if, especially if you haven't heard from them in years, okay? It's not always the case. Like, I've, I, have, I have heard stories of people coming back to their exes and asking and inquiring about their exes years down the line. It does happen. It's just very rare, okay? And it's sometimes 
it's best to believe that you're in the majority of people and not in the minority of people because the prob the probability is is that you're in the majority and you're not you know the special cases where an ex has come back after years okay so another um, way to tell if your ex is over you is if they don't engage at all with you on social media, right? And if they do, take it with a grain of salt because someone, you know, an ex liking some of your posts, your ex watching your stories, um, your ex even commenting or retweeting or liking your tweets or whatever it is, you know, those kinds of things can be a sign that maybe they are thinking about you and they're interested, but... Um, more than likely, it usually means not much, right? So take it with a grain of salt. It's best not to read into it, basically. Because if you read too much into someone's likes on your social media page, someone watching your stories, it can make you become more obsessed with them and it can get you back to square one, especially if you want to heal from this relationship. And if you want to heal from this relationship, then it's best not to worry yourself so much with these like micro things that they do on social media. So if they don't engage with you on social media, that means they don't leave any likes, um, especially if you're still friends with them or they still follow you. If they don't leave any likes, they're not watching your stories. Yeah, it's probably clear that they're not interested. But if they do like things, they do watch your stories. I mean, there's a slither of hope. But again, like I said, don't read too much into it because there's no way of really knowing. Because sometimes people just do that when they're bored. They just go around liking posts. Um, they watch stories because they treat it like a TV show. They like to see what everyone's been up to. And perhaps maybe they're still, because you're their ex, they maybe they're still a little bit curious about your life and what you're up to. But again, it doesn't have to be that deep. It doesn't have to be so deep that they're still not over it, okay? If you're interested in getting your ex back and you would like to know how to get your ex back, then I highly recommend that you watch my audio on how to get your ex back. So the last way to tell if your ex is over you is if they've made it very clear that they want nothing more to do with you. So they may have said to you that, they may have said to you, look, I don't want anything more to do with you, leave me alone, I'm not interested. Like if they've said these things to you, then you have to take their word for it. If they've made it clear and they've said to you that they're not interested in getting back together, then you have to accept that, right? Because the more you fight it, the more worse you're gonna make it, okay? So it's best, obviously, when it comes to exes, I truly do believe that exes are an, are, are an ex for a reason, right? So if you've got an ex, they're your ex for a reason. And I know it's a cliche saying, but the reason why it's a cliche saying, and the reason why you see a lot of cliche sayings around all the time, is because there's usually an element of truth in those cliche sayings, okay? So if an ex is an ex for a reason, that's probably true for you as well. So there's something that else you just want to consider and try to move on from this relationship. Do not wait around for them. Try to get yourself out of this place where you're feeling stuck, okay? Because a lot of people do get themselves stuck because they continue to think of too much about their ex. They continue to look through old photos, um, overanalyze old messages that they sent, overanalyze everything their ex does on social media, and it just keeps that person stuck and it prevents them from moving on. And you wanna move on from this relationship because you don't know if your ex is coming back, especially if at the moment you're in a no contact period. You don't know if they're ever gonna reach out to you, okay? So an ex is an ex for a reason. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.